Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a little tutorial. Oh, wait, not create a tutorial. Um, create objects in FreeCAD. So, so firstly, we'll be looking here. There is a splash screen that I accidentally went out. So, um, essentially, there is a splash screen and you have to click new. Now, I always click new. It's an automatic habit. But now once you're here, you're stuck. You don't know where to go or what to do. So what do you do? What do you do? Um, well, you go here, click start, and you click part design. There. Now, this is one of the many tools they have, and you probably will get confused and overwhelmed by this, but it's fine. You just click this one with this cube and a pencil. Okay, now we'll have to now you're probably wondering how do i create a 3d object well i have had some experience in on shape before this but basically to click this button now that will create that will tell you to pick a plane now a plane is an imaginary like surface that you where you can draw or like model anything so what you need to do is you need to click whichever plane you want i will you can click the YZ plane, the XY plane, or the XZ plane. I'll pick the XY plane because it's like horizontal, kind of. Now, um, what you need to do is, you're probably wondering, what do I do? I'll explain all the tools quickly. This one is a line. You can drag it, drag it, create any shape you want. Let's say you don't want this. You can hit Control Z. But let's say uh, you've created this line for you and you don't want to erase it. You can click this one. This erases any tool. Now it does. It's called trim line. It's called that for a reason. Because if you place another line in between it, it will trim it to that line. But something can get out right now. Next, you probably want to make this is a curve curvature. So basically, let's say you want to make a curved angle. There's two ways you can do this. Firstly, you can use this tool, which is mainly just for making half circles and semicircles. But let's say you want to round out a square, which is our next one. This is a squares tool. Now this one you can create any square you want and if you go inside of it, it's centered, basically from the center, and it's rounded, which is automatic round test, rounded rectangles. Which is pretty cool, but that's not what we have for. Let's say you've already been pretty far into development, you accidentally forgot how to do that. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna find a tool which I can't seem to find, but I will in a second this it's called fillet now this is such it's the same name in like the 3d era but this one just sharpens it for you so basically you can actually you have actually editable rounded rectangles it's like if i grab this point I can make my rounded rectangle way bigger now you will get sometimes an error because uh, like how the program is built as a free software but it could work it's working for me it's been working for a long time but it is really annoying and sometimes you can get these really weird shapes but that's fine okay now we want to let's say you want to create an octagon which is something you'll have to use a trim tool for oh yeah i forgot and also just click delete or oh, wait del delete the top one so it's not backspace it's delete now let's say you want to create an octagon you have to go here wait no you have to go here now this is a centered octagon now this is a normal uh wait this is a, he a hexagon now i want to create an octagon not a hexagon so what i'll do is i'll go to here I'll click octagon 
there's a regular polygon which you can actually edit the sides of so I'll just put 100 99 and that basically just creates a circle but it will lag your computer a lot so I recommend you don't do that but for now um, oh fish control C oh, escape now I'll just delete that delete that and delete that and delete that okay um we've already discussed what this is we've got the triangle we've got a square uh, now uh, we want to create a circle we can do it like this now this is a centered circle we do have the three rim circle which is one where your circle is facing two now that is a three rim circle it's not that complicated if you work hard enough now this is a rounded line kind of thing so if you do three and then click escape uh wait no this is the wrong tool This one is a rounded type of. Now you have to click right to escape out of it. But this is basically what your tr what your points are doing. Now you can edit this however what you want. You can pull the strings. You can pull the strings out. Turn this into some minuscule shape. Make the lines as big as this. So that's what. That's what there is for today's video. Put a like, like, subscribe, and share. Bye.